World Player of the Year in 2007, Kakar is already a World Cup and Champions League winner. As a creator and scorer of goals, he could play a big part in the destiny of the 2010 World Cup. He's come a long way from his childhood in Sao Paulo. I was born in Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. I lived there until I was four and then moved to Cuiabá. When I was eight years old, I moved to Sao Paulo, where I began to play football. For me, it was really special to have been world champion in 2002. It brings me great satisfactions and I am really happy to be able to say that I was part of the Brazilian national team that won the World Cup for the fifth time. When the referee blew the final whistle, I ran onto the field and the only thing I could do was to thank God. I knew the whole world was watching that game. Millions and millions of people were all glued to the television. The great emotion of being world champion was almost too much. So I ran around the field to the glorify God, hug my teammates and we prayed together. I want to walk with Jesus on a daily basis in all moments of my life. Whether I am on the field, off the field, at home or away, or with my friends, at all moments I stand for Jesus. Marcus Senna is a Brazilian-born Spanish footballer who plays for Villarreal CF in Spain. He was a member of the 2008 European Championship winning Spanish team. He's known for his passing range, long distance shooting and is a specialist in taking penalties. How did he become a footballer? When I was six years old, I started playing football in the streets of Brazil. I started to play for my first team in Sao Paulo at the age of 12, where I was successful in the trials. It was when my career really took off. I wanted to play in the World Cup and I did it. This was a dream come true, to get to such a big tournament. But I want to win the World Cup. Of course, I know that it's difficult. Not everyone has the chance to even play in the World Cup. But I will have the chance to go with the Spanish team and win it. I pray that, God willing, we will win. How did Senna feel when he took a vital penalty in the quarter-final of the 2008 European Championships against Italy. It was all down to God. We had practiced penalties the day before, but on the day, we had played 90 minutes plus extra time. I was exhausted and had cramp everywhere. I knew I would be asked to be one of the penalty takers. But thanks to God, I was calm and felt His Spirit come on me to give me peace and clarity. I was able to shoot well score and do the business for Spain. The difference that Jesus makes in my life is everything. There is nothing I can do without Jesus in my life. It's everything to me. 2006, Cyril Domero captained the Ivory Coast to its first ever World Cup finals. Like many African players, Cyril's rise came from humble beginnings. Uh, for me, my first memory of football is when my sister bought me some football boots for the first time. Because in Africa, I used to play football with bare feet. When I was a boy, I just played football because I enjoyed it. I only started to become aware of the possibility of playing professionally when I was 20 years old. I was thinking more about my studies, but the Lord had other ideas. For Cyril, playing at the World Cup Finals in 2006 was a dream come true for him, the team and the whole nation. For years, the Avery Coast has tried to qualify and it was done to myself and my teammates to give this gift to the nation during a critical time of suffering. The success of the team caused great change. People pulled together more. Everyone was celebrating. I think that God was there in the midst of it all. Before the games, we prayed in the changing room and after the game, we prayed as well. I always thank God, as it was Him that enabled me to go to the World Cup, this great moment He gave in my life. Now retired, Cyril has set up a centre bearing his name to give hope to youngsters from his home country. It's a training and education centre where I give young players from the Ivory Coast the chance to play in Europe, as many have never had the same opportunity that I had. By God's grace, there are about seven or eight who are currently playing professionally. I'm achieving my aim to give young footballers this opportunity. Great to hear how faith and football can mix for one of the world's greatest players.